Hi everyone, I'm Alex Eamon with Parks and Recreation and Project Sponsor. I'm here today with my friend Dave Genio, the Superintendent of Parks, to talk to you about the Gilwell Park closure occurring this summer. Gilwell Park is found in the southeast sector of the city and includes many amenities that will be closed for the summer. We'll start the park closure July 1st and open approximately mid-October. Gilwell Park will be the site of a new initiative called Alternative Landscaping. And what does this mean for Gilwell? We'll be rolling out new native fescue grasses that will be better on water savings and mowing savings in the future. Once the park reopens in mid-October, Gilwell's playgrounds, trails and the disc golf will open up for the public. But during this time, the fescue native grasses will remain closed for up to two years while root establishment takes place. Parks and Recreation asks for all city help and locals to help us maintain and stay off this grass until root establishment takes place. While Gilwell is closed for the summer, Lean Weber Park will be fully accessible all summer. The playground that you see behind me is accessible as well as the trail, the pond and the nine hole disc golf that we have available. The park can be found five to ten minutes walking north from Gilwell behind me by Kyler Road. The Southview Playground and Park, pictured behind me here, can be accessed via foot footpath off of Southview Drive and also connects up from the path to Simpsons Park off of Cairns Way Southeast. Dave Genio is here with us today to help describe the Alternative Landscaping Initiative and help us focus more on the native fescue grasses. Off to you, Dave. Thank you very much, Alex. The Parks and Recreation Department is moving forward in regards to initiatives that uh, are assisting with the conservation of water throughout our city parks. One of the methods that we will be looking at to perform this uh, is what is considered as alternative landscaping. One of the concepts of alternative landscaping is to look at and actually work with uh, certain plant species and turf species that are better suited for our climate and the environment here in Medicine Hat. These species as well will assist in the, the conservation of water within our parks and recreation areas. Now the intent is to not uh, utilize this pilot within the entire proximity of Gilwell Park. What we will be looking at is taking certain sections of the park and installing this alternative landscape method methodology within it. This will include changes to irrigation, different mowing patterns, as well as other types of plant species that are best suited for an alternative landscape uh, atmosphere. While we're performing the testing and the piloting of these different uh, turf species and plants within Gilwell Park, what we do ask uh, local residents is to please uh, give us the opportunity to allow these areas to reestablish and remain out of them for the foreseeable future. Once these are established, you are going to see the definite benefits of the alternative landscape and how beautiful this park will look after. Now you're probably wondering, Dave, how long do I have to you know, allow myself to stay out of these, these areas within uh, in the park? Approximately right now, we're estimating up to two years to see the full benefits of this pilot project. Um, in that meantime, we are still going to be maintaining, there's going to be lots of areas for people to enjoy within the park. So I do hope that everybody will be able to assist us while enjoying the park and keeping out of these uh, newly established areas. Thank you very much for uh, a lot, or working with us in regards to this exciting adventure into the alternative landscaping pilot. And thank you very much, and over to you, Alex. Thanks, Dave. Really excited to see the new Alternative Landscaping Initiative. Both Gilwell and Lean Weber host a nine-hole disc golf, and neither will be affected by the Alternative Landscaping Initiatives. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in and taking an interest in your City of Medicine Hat Parks and Recreation facilities. Thanks, Dave, for your help today, and thank you, everyone, for staying off the native fescue grasses. If you still have any questions or concerns, you will provide a contact number that you can reach me at during the days of June 22nd and 23rd. And we will provide you with more information or questions. Thanks and stay safe.